So here's how the drill is going to start. I've got a loaded pistol. I'm going to take my empty magazine in my support hand and I'm going to swap that into the gun. So now as the gun gets fired, what will happen? It'll slide lock. It'll yeah, we'll go to slide lock. I'm going to take that magazine and depending on my gear, hierarchy of importance, right? If I need this hand to clear a cover garment, I'm going to put that magazine away so I can safely holster, right? So think about that hierarchy. So I'm going to set the drill up. So I've got one in the chamber and an empty magazine. Don't, for some reason this gets confusing because it's like, why am I putting an empty magazine in the gun? To make it go to slide lock, that's all. Watch me not the target. So here's the whole drill. I'm going to say, draw, fire one, reload, fire one, and pause. Draw, fire one, so nothing in my draw stroke changes. Slide locks to the rear, finger straight, dump the magazine, retrieve my new magazine, fire the second shot. Finger straight, for me, decock, look left and right. Is it safe for me to bend down? Yes. I'm not bending down like this. I'm bending down like this. If any of you have a physical ailment that makes this hard, we'll make a change to the drill. I'm going to stand up. I'm going to tack mag the empty mag back into the gun. Understand that this portion is administrative in nature. I'm not in a parking lot shoving empty magazines into my gun. So mentally, you can switch gears. Admin, right? I'm doing administrative shit. I'm back on the line. I'm ready to go again. So now the drill's over. I'm back in the holster. So the whole drill. Up. Dump. Retrieve my new mag. Drill's done. Look left and right. If it's safe to do so, scoop that mag, muzzle out, not at your hands. Slava, where's your trigger finger? You guys watching, here's what you're looking for. Is the shooter's trigger finger on the trigger as they're doing the reload? So you look for that. Um, are they dumping the magazine, look at me, while the mag well is vertical? So are they dumping, or are they coming here and then having to yank it out? So we need to develop the habit as the gun goes to slide lock that we dump while the mag well is vertical. Who's shooting a P365 or some other littlish gun? These little guns, as this gun goes off, I'm pushing the mag release, especially on the P365. It's a pain in the ass. So the meat of my hands catching the mag, you guys that have these little guns, uh, sometimes a uh, uh, Glock 26, it might work to happen. So here is a change up. Bring the gun in and you're gonna use the thumb of your support hand. See this? What I'm not doing though, guys, I'm gonna turn this way, is this. I'm not pointing the gun to the guys over here. You see that? I'm bringing this in and this thumb comes off. That this change, if you do this, any gun you pick up, you're going to start doing it. So understand that you're going to adopt that, which is why some guys flip this over. Why I don't like that is look at my master grips completely broken now. Ready? Up. Hey, if you train with a firearm, if you carry a firearm, if you teach people firearms, the barrel block, you should get one. We keep a whole bucket of them in our range trailer. Quite simply what it is, it blocks the barrel, just as the name states. And at the end is a cartridge molded into the plastic. In this case, it's a nine millimeter. They come in different calibers. You just install it right into the barrel, plugs the barrel up, makes it completely inert. It's orange so everybody can see it. Of course, when using it, you're still ingraining good habits of muzzle discipline and trigger finger control. And then it comes with a, a magazine follower block, which allows the student to practice things like manipulating the slide, manipulating the magazine without the follower locking the slide to the rear. 
Super simple, super easy to use. Made in the USA, you saw how easy I put it in. That's how easy it comes out. And they come for rifles as well. Check them out, barrel block.